हेलो एवरी वन टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज कैशलेस सोसाइटी नाउ वॉट इज अ कैशलेस सोसाइटी अ कैशलेस सोसाइटी इज एन इकोनॉमी वेर ऑल फाइनेंशियल ट्रांजेक्शन हैपन विदाउट कैश कैशलेस पेमेंट मेथड सच एज डेबिट कार्ड्स क्रेडिट कार्ड्स इलेक्ट्रॉनिक पेमेंट्स यूजिंग डिजिटल डिवाइसिस एक्सेट्रा आर यूज फॉर कैशलेस ट्रांजेक्शन्स नाउ क्रिप्टो करेंसीज आर ऑल्सो बींग यूज फॉर कैशलेस ट्रांजेक्शन्स Several countries are working on their own central bank digital currency that is CBDC. People who do not have smartphones, debit cards and credit cards can also make cashless payment using unstructured supplementary service data through basic phones. Electronic transactions were started in 1990s. It's been roughly a decade since common people started doing cashless transactions. Now let us talk about the pros of cashless society. The need for cash withdrawing, storing and depositing will be eliminated and there is no need to count cash while making payments thus they are time saving. Secondly, cashless transactions are more convenient. Third point is a cashless economy saves so much money for governments because printing money, sending the money to banks require money and human resources. The need to purchase or rent lend for ATMs will also be eliminated. Cashless transactions leave digital footprints of financial transactions. They can be used to trace illegal activities. Fifth point is international payments will also be easier because there is no need to exchange currency. And the sixth point is COVID pandemic increase the number of cashless transactions. they can prevent the spread of contagious diseases the data gathered can be utilized by the government to make policy decisions also the issue of counterfeit currency will be eliminated and the last point is cashless transaction give the consumer proof of payment it can be used in case of disputes now let us talk about the cons of cashless society Cashless transactions are recorded by banks so the data will reveal the critical data of people regarding where they spend money the government can easily access the data of anyone it may result in mass surveillance program this goes against the right to privacy cash gives us anonymity secondly there is still a digital divide in several countries some people do not even have bank accounts and phones a cashless society further marginalizes such people third point is cyber attacks the increasing number of cyber attacks can threaten the cashless society fourth point is a cashless economy will increase the number of cyber crimes and lastly technical issues in banking can halt access to our money this can interfere with our daily lives now let us see the present situation in india Even though cashless payments in India are increasing at a rapid rate, cash is still the major mode of transaction because about 15 crore people do not have a bank account yet. Now let us see the situation worldwide. The use of cashless payment methods is increasing worldwide. Several countries are aiming to become cashless societies. Sweden is the first in the race. Several youngsters of Sweden are implementing microchips in their hands which can store different kind of data such as bank card ID cards tickets etc However some citizens of Sweden are rebelling against a cashless society and are fighting for the right to use cash To conclude encouraging cashless transaction is very much needed because it will save time and money for people and also for institutions but eliminating cash completely may worsen the situation of some people such as poor people digital illiterates etc moreover it can be a threat to the right to privacy so a completely cashless society is not a good idea at least for now i hope you like this video thank you for watching comment below what are your opinion on this topic and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more hot topics